Whether you're new to self-publishing or you've self-published before, today's video is a total eye-opener and hopefully it will keep you from falling into these self-publishing traps. If you're new here, hello, my name is Mari Suggs. I am a writer and self-published author and on this channel I talk about writing and self-publishing tips and how to navigate it all with a positive mindset. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and if you find value in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So let's jump right into today's video video, the five things to avoid when self-publishing. And the very first thing I'm going to talk about is avoid trying to publish too many books. And what I mean by that is quality over quantity. Um, when you are self-published, you are in control of your publishing schedule. You can write and publish as many books as you want. But always remember that just because you can publish a, a book whenever you want, once a month if you want to, it doesn't necessarily mean that you should. Some people on YouTube would have you believe that, you know, publishing 12 books a month, 35 books in two years, that's great, but that's not always the case. You have to make sure that you do what's right for you and don't get influenced by what you see on this platform or other platforms or when you hear other writers talk about what they do. You must do what is right for you. So don't fall into this trap of thinking you have to speed write, you have to publish a bunch of books. You need to focus on quality over quantity just because you can self-publish and publish as many books as you want doesn't necessarily mean that you should. The second thing we're going to talk about is avoid getting stuck in the watching game because what happens is when you are trying to self-publish for the first time or maybe if you've self-published before and it didn't really go as well as you hoped it would go, what happens is you start thinking to yourself, hopefully you start thinking to yourself, I need to learn more. I need to get better at this self-publishing game, which I encourage and I think is perfectly okay. But the only problem is don't get stuck in that watching game and not taking action because what can happen is you can get stuck there and get discouraged because you see all these other people doing it so you think they're doing it so much better than you or they're doing it so well and yours didn't go that well or maybe you feel overwhelmed if you've never self-published before. So try to avoid getting in the watching game. Make sure you learn as much as you can but then you apply that and take action so that you actually can self-publish your book and get it out to the masses. The third thing we're going to talk about is probably a sensitive subject and probably one that you don't want to hear and but it's the reality of it you guys. It's the truth. Avoid thinking that you're going to make a lot of money when you self-publish. It's hard to make money selling books, right? So if you're in the business of writing because you think you're going to make a lot of money then I don't want to be the one to tell you this, but you might want to rethink the entire thing. Writing a book is hard. Writing a book is a labor of love. It takes a lot to write. Not only are you not probably going to make a lot of money from your books, but you also, if you're going to self-publish, you're going to spend a lot of money self-publishing your book. So if it's not something you're doing because you love it and there's a passion inside of you to get these books out there and you're just in it for the money, I encourage you to reconsider your desire for writing and maybe do it as a hobby, do it for something else, but don't try to get into this career of writing and self-publishing to make money. Can you make money? Absolutely. But don't write just to make money. Don't think you're going to get into the self-publishing business and start making money right away because chances are you're not. You, especially if you've never self-published before, especially if you don't already have an audience, especially if you don't know a lot about marketing and advertising and getting your stuff out there. It's not as simple as just writing, self-publishing, and your book will get discovered. I mean, we all hope that, but that's not the reality of it. So if you're thinking of self-publishing because you're thinking there's a lot of money in it, I would avoid that mindset altogether. The fourth thing we're going to talk about is avoid jumping from genre to genre if you are self-publishing. One of the most important things as an author is to establish your brand. If you are writing thriller one day and the next time you are writing um, historical fiction and then you're jumping to um, erotica, romance, then you cannot build a brand, you cannot build an, a, a reader um, 
a reader following with having so many scattered subgenres under your name. So I encourage you to just stick with one genre and do not jump around, especially if you're just starting out. For more on this topic, make sure you watch this video where I talk about the things that I would do if I were starting all over from the beginning with my writing and self-publishing career. Make sure you go by and check it out because I go really in depth into this whole self-publishing and writing business. And the fifth thing we're going to avoid is Avoid doing everything yourself. I have talked about this on this channel a million times, but I'll say it again because I think it's very, very important for new writers, and especially if you are self-publishing, to get this through your head. <laughs> because even I have sometimes a hard time doing this because I figured I could just do it, and um, I can't do all the things, and I can't do them well, and I can't do them better than a professional. So I... I think I repeat this to you guys because it's a lesson that I constantly have to relearn. Don't think that you can do it all. You cannot probably edit your manuscript. You probably cannot create your cover. You probably cannot format your book. You probably can't market your book on your own. There's a lot of things, there's a lot of professionals out there that dedicate their entire life to their craft. Just like your craft is writing and, and you wouldn't pay someone to write the book, you're going to write the book, then pay a professional to do what they are trained to do. What happens when you do it yourself is that you might not have the um, confidence to then promote the book if you don't feel the cover is up to par, if you don't feel the manuscript has been edited professionally, so you think there might be some errors or there might be some plot holes or there might be some typos and therefore you don't want anyone to read it because you don't want anyone to find it. So that, what's the point of writing the book if you're not going to stand behind it and promote it to people and getting and encourage others to read your book, if you're just going to write and self-publish and then hide behind it because you can't, you're embarrassed of it, then there's no point. The whole point is to write a book that you feel good about, that you can just share it with the world so that other people can discover you and come back and buy every other book that you write. If you want to learn more about writing and self-publishing tips, then check out this video where I share the five systems that help me self-publish nine books.